Hi everyone, how are you doing and welcome back to Simon's Crazy Gardening and Foraging. So today we are doing some planting up and um, yeah, I'll show you what I've been doing as well. I managed to get out yesterday for a little bit when it wasn't raining. Um, but yeah, first off we're going to do some re-potting up and pick up some radishes. I will flip the camera around and show you. So as you can see the radishes need coming out they are getting a bit too big and i'll see something's eating them as well so <clears throat> i'm gonna do that also these got these a few of these planted up which i managed to do as well um they are black beauty aubergines all of them got these ones as well as you can tell the roots really haven't been able to get out here and do it with the weather um it's dill and then we've got all these individual red onions to plant as well got some weeds under there to get rid of i'm taking these ones out and repotting them um just because i've got little baby lettuces in there that i want to try and grow bigger and to obviously protect from slugs and snails so yeah let's uh get pulling some of these up No, they're not the some are not ready to come up because they're not as big but you know i need the space now um, because i've got some tomatoes to go in this section as well as well as some more of these but it's not a bad size you go straight into my compost that one no really point no point eating that. So anything that don't is lucky, it just goes back into my compost really. Mm, he might be a little bit big. Nope, not fully formed yet. Okay. have got some outside to pull up as well never mind eh oh part of my shelf has fallen down so I'm going to go over this quickly and um, get it all sorted out because I've got some tomatoes and more of the uh, aubergines to go in here I'm just going to move these pots over. I've just literally dug this section over where the radishes was. So now I'm going to dig this section over just slightly. Here's the radishes once I've chopped all the leaves off. That's probably about the best size one. And the others are quite small. But it doesn't matter. See the difference in the colour of this compost where it's got the better, the most water. Just dig that over ready for some tomatoes and aubergines to go straight in. Let's grab these weeds out. There is another one under there. See seeds drop. That is a um, a dill plant. You can see it's the same as this one over here. Any little seeds that drop, but we don't need them. We've got so many, and these aren't really weeds. These are actually you can eat these as salad leaves. But I've already got some, so. I'm going to dig under here as well, even though I don't really in plant pots. 
I'm not really growing anything under here. Things would grow under there, but I just can't have it. Um, can't have it too tall. So now I'm going to show you. Oh, there's a better view. Look at all that space. <clears throat> so. I've got plenty to be planting. We have, I've got some of these that I'm going to give away to if any family or I'll actually give some to one of my neighbours. Um, some herbs and tomato plants just because I had quite a few. Um, but yeah, flip the camera so you can have a look. So we've got these pl tomatoes to um, grow in there. I've got some more black aubergines to grow in there as well. Um, not too many because obviously they need the room to grow. Um, got some lettuces that are going to go over in the pot over there all this is sage we got um parsley over there not even a little pink lady seed growing from a pit from the apple so yeah a lot to do and move them out into their own separate pots so yeah, get some of these tomatoes over here. Oh, and we've got a Chinese cucumber that's going to go in as well. Chinese cucumber. They're going to go down in here as well. So <clears throat> Now, don't know where actually to plant them. I've got overings and they both grow quite big. Um, so I'm thinking possibly tomatoes over in this section here and overgenes up that way. And because tomato plants are pretty strong on their stems, so I'm going to plant the cucumber up in the corner here just so it's got an extra support sorry about the noise there's a plane flying over I'll bring you in a little bit closer so you can have a look and that you're just gonna dig a little bit could use the little trowel rather than my hands Sink him in there. Obviously, better the further you can put them in the ground so they get more roots on them, the better it grow, as well as the more fruit you will actually get on the plant as well. So, we've got him in there or her, whatever. Straight in there so we know what it is. And as that grows higher, I will cane it um, and then what I do is when I cane it is I make up a little frame I tie it to here and just so it's got more bit of a support so now we're gonna do with the tomatoes now I'm gonna go along here with the tomatoes um, I always like to grow the bigger stuff at the back of the greenhouse and the smaller stuff that doesn't grow as big at the front so yeah let's get on with the tomatoes Now, I know, um, you're not big, you're quite big, so we put the biggest ones down here, you can go there, always like to do them into the size of the tomato, so it just goes biggest tomato to smallest. I know most people will be like, oh, I wouldn't put tomatoes with the cucumbers. Um, I've never actually had a problem, to be honest with you. They grow pretty good together. And I've, I've done it this way. 
even before starting this channel. Now I like to get that in as far as you can. Does it the same with tomatoes. The more roots you can get on it, the better your fruit will be. Most people are probably thinking, how can it be a fruit? I'm going to give you a little bit of education. To tell a fruit from a vegetable, a fruit grows a seed or a pip. A vegetable doesn't. Vegetables are below ground. Fruit are above ground. So this is fruit because they have seeds in and they grow above ground. Just in case you didn't know if anyone was interested. So we're going to plant the whole of these up. I grow mine in a mixture of perlite, if you pronounce it like that. Always, always say it wrong. Um, and I think the other one was called Voltamore Voltim or something like that. Um, or have a look, the bags are actually in the shed. Like a 50 50 with the compost as well. Now I have got some of these actually growing outside as well. I like to see what does better. If they do better in the greenhouse or if they do better growing outside. And like obviously taste the taste of them as well. Because I think they do definitely taste different growing outside to inside. So it's always a good little experiment. Now, on to growing some aubergines. Now I'm doing these ones here, they're staying in the pots and they just haven't gone outside yet. I might actually stick them under there because they still get light um, and I can obviously still water them, just pull them out to water them. Um, I'm also going to grow some in here. I've got some outside. Um, now, if you've got any tips on aubergines or any I literally have zero knowledge about aubergines. I've never grown them. It's the, literally the first time. Um, so if you have grown them and I'm doing anything wrong, then please let us know in the comments below. Or how to look after them and stuff. Obviously, I will do a little bit of research, but um, it's always good to ask people if they've grown them before. They might have a bit more better knowledge than everyone's friend Google right, I need I don't know where my little my little dabber has gone so just going to have to use our fingers unfortunately hey. I guess they're saying the more you dig them down the better fruit you'll get um I'm not really too sure how far these have got to be spaced. Like I say, I've never actually grown them before. So it's a f first time for everything. I reckon three in there, I'm not going to overdo it. Maybe I'll put four around the corner slightly. Hmm. There's nothing really grows on here really. It's only a shelf that I've put just to start it off. So go in there like that. And I might just continue down here. Um and then I'll plot some of these up. Plot pot some of these up just in case family or friends or neighbours want any of them. We go in a little circle like this. I 
Mind you, actually, no, I won't go in a circle like this. I'll continue the line here because then actually it's going to be a much easier for me to do a frame around them to obviously keep them growing. So there you are that. Oh, he snapped his root off. So yeah, I'll keep you obviously updated on these, but like I say, if you do have any tips or ways of, then let us know. They're in there. I've just got to make up a name tag for them. Cause... So look at that. They have our overjeans. Five different types of tomatoes. One Chinese cucumber. Yeah. There. I'm literally going to... Um... Get these back on the shelf and get my tools to go and do some planted up in the garden right guys so i had to literally just take the footage off my phone because i ran out of memory um pardon me so i've just been tidying up before and got all my herbs here obviously just things that i'm trying to grow see how well they do again pink lady kiwi and orange I've got some parsley over the back, then these are all sage ones that I'm going to see if any family or friends or anyone want them. Oh, up here also, they are looking a bit brown where they've been indoors, they need planting up. Um, just cuttings of mint, and these are all different types of mint. I will show you all different, these are like um, pineapple mint, spear mint, um, I think one of them's like a spinach mint. <clears throat> So I've got these. I did repot these ones up, like I said I was going to. I thought I'd do it off camera because my phone died. And so I just literally repotted them up. They're gonna sit on the shelf so I can water them. And if I want some lettuce leaves, I just come out, snap them off, and obviously they regrow anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, that's them. We've got some wild carrot here as well that I'm gonna I'm going to stick them in here with obviously all my different lettuces, iceberg, I've got red salad bowl leaf, just different lettuce leaves. I did plant six red onions under there to see how well they grow and the rest I'm going to plant outside. <clears throat> also planted another little, a little corner of herbs, see how well they do inside. <clears throat> Can I take you outside and then in the garden I can show you what all the different varieties of mint. So here we are. I managed to do this yesterday as well actually, when it wasn't raining, is um trim all this this is a blackberry bush, it's got thistles on it. Um the one we have hasn't. But these are the different mint. Macaroon you got peppermint, pineapple mint, spearmint, spinach mint. That was all in there. I've separated them. That's all the garlic coming along nicely. Our herbs getting nice and big. Look at these. Look. Look at the clusters there. Down there and there of baby spiders. Look at them. All. Hmm. Look at all them. Absolutely thousands of them. <laughs> Made home on there. Mint, I've got to redo this because that is in a pot and it's literally spread. So there's loads of mint now. I'm going to just turn them into individual plants. See if anyone wants them. And um, yeah, so outside, <clears throat> obviously it's a lot warmer down here in the south. Um, I don't actually cover any of mine. I just let nature do its thing. Um, these are the um, aubergines. We have a cucumber as well, the same. I don't cover none of it. And these are all different types of tomato. There's loads in there. And over in that one, no, in this one, we're going to plant some onions in there. 
and the more radishes over there that I'm going to harvest in there. So let's get planting some onions in there. So, got our kneeling pad. We will need that. We won't need the little dibber. Um, I did have one somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone. Hello. Okay. What we'll use instead is a pencil to make holes. If not, I'll just use my fingers. The onions, we need them. Also, I've so behind recently, just with the weather where it has been constantly raining. Um, over the over the bank holiday weekend, we're actually it's going to actually be nice. Um, <clears throat> but there's like all my seeds. I've shown you this before, I think. Where I have all my seeds. Um, I've literally haven't grown any seeds of March whatsoever. Or April. And we're on May. There's quite a few flowers in there that need planting up. More onions, maras, swedes. I really have to start getting through it. That's just some of the seeds. I have such a big seed collection. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I um, call me the king of seeds because literally I have seeds everywhere. They've got different, literally, so many that confetti, oregano, just where I've just not had time to plant them, literally. But anyway, let's get back to planting these onions. Pinch one out. Make a little hole. Pop him in. That easy. Again, just put it slightly. Not too hard because you don't want to damage it. Let me get that in there. Make a little hole. Place him down in. Cover it up. Go okay, tags him. <clears throat> I'll water them later, and um, hopefully grow some really nice onions. What I'll do with these few is I will <clears throat> I'll move them pots under there, and I might plant some more under there. See how well they grow between outside. See what grows better from outside to inside the greenhouse. I always love to experiment. It's all about making the fun, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so I've got that to do. I'm gonna go and pick some radishes. Um, excuse me, I just think in my mouth. Um, and then we've got some new mint to plant up. Um, plant the lettuces in there. And then it's just a case of watering everything, feeding everything. Um, so yeah, let's go see the radishes outside. And also got to sort this planter out. I've done this one with the cranberries in it. There's a few, there's a few weeds in there still that need to come out. Can't get them all out um, unless you upset it and take it all out to do it again. Um, these are the proper English bluebells. Um, the other ones I showed you with the little smaller beads on it, they are obviously French bluebells. Um, but yeah little seed pods ready to grow some more we got some weeds in here the as I call the sticky back and when the beads when you get the uh, seeds on there you can grind it up for coffee so I've got to take all that out nice little uh, 
every gardener's enemy. Eat everything. <coughs> This one, no, not quite ready these ones yet, they are really, really tiny, there's nothing on them, there's a few big ones in here that probably would come out to be honest with you. Right. That one there is getting a nice size. It depends how big you really like your radishes to be honest with you. That's a nice size. Look at that. Look at that beauty. You can't be homegrown. It just so much better just because all the the time and the effort you've put into it. From a little seed to that beautiful thing. Just look at that. Gonna eat some of these for dinner today and I might do some final cooking recipe. Oh, look at that. Lovely size. I don't like radishes massive anyway. Look at that. He's good. Okay, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Pull you up. Look at that. Beauty. Yeah, it's about the size of what you get in the supermarket in the UK. A little bit longer, the rest need longer, but we've got a few there that are a decent size. So I'll leave the rest in there for another week or so, see how well they get on. Right, so guys, off camera just because my memory's going to run out again. Is I've just literally planted up my iceberg lettuce, my wild carrots, my red um, salad bowl leaves, and another um, spicy mixed salad leaf. Just because I've put them in there, and then I like to stop the slugs and everything, get them to them and give them a nice bit of heat. Is I got this makeshift greenhouse top as I call it but it's actually from it's actually a win um a window out of a little win uh, a Wendy house that my nieces had so I thought all oh, that come in handy so I can just cover them up water them obviously as well and cover them up of a night so yeah that's that now I'm gonna move these and plant some more onions under there there we are, onions over there, left one in the pot to see what it grows like, right there, here's the, all the compost from the pots, that goes back into my compost because I don't really like to use it straight away, um, I've got a load of fresh compost here, these are also, this is um, my own liquid fertiliser from all the compost that I've done last year I just put literally the same as this miracle grow about one of them caps of that to about five litres of water and this is good it's in a medicine bowl also what I use um, is actually banana skin in water which is really good for the plants as well so yeah time to get some pots from my big selection here and um, replant the mint plants so here we use these ones here <clears throat> so here they are guys literally all you do is soak just break them break some bits off your plant put them in water and within about a week or so you'll get little roots like this on them yeah it's a little tiny one on there you can just see it there. These ones, it's already producing new ones right at the base. You can actually grow mint just in a pot of water. So, they're going to go in there like that. And they, 
will be nice and ready in a few weeks to start picking. Right, so let's get our mint plants lined up on here. I will water them later. Just let them settle first. I'll keep you updated on the progress of them. There's two here that hasn't got no roots on yet, so I'll take them back indoors. Um, no roots yet. So yeah, that is everything at the minute. <coughs> All over there, over there. Got that to go into the compost bin actually, and that. I've got to take the radishes in, I've got to break up some cardboard to go into the compost bin as well. Compost bin update, there we go, it's all, all the, these are biodegradable bags, I normally split them open every now and then. Oh, a little fly went up my nose, because of all the rotting food in there. So yeah, I'm going to throw all the other stuff in there. All of this and that compost there. There's the last going into there now. I'm just going to break it all down completely now. Right guys, so I've just come back in. I'm actually going to end the video now. Um, I've just washed all the radishes. Um, I'll show you. Here they go. You've got your normal red radishes and um, ice white long radishes. I'm going to eat them with my dinner later. Lovely. Might keep some to find a recipe to do with radishes. So I'm going to end that video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share it. Turn the notification on to get notified whenever we upload a video. I will try and do more. It's just a bit manic with decorating, doing the cooking channel and everything else. So I'm trying to get used to doing it all. Um, but yeah, um, by the time you've watched this, there will be a cooking video up as well. I'm going to literally end this, do a cooking video. And then hopefully they should just be up roughly about the same time. Or, well no, it'll be just after this video um so yeah catch you guys next time bye for now